Right, today is Veterans Day, and I thought I would do a DCS flight, or a sortie, at Nellis Air Force Base, the old air base where I was stationed at, in an F-16 Vi Viper, which I crewed when I was stationed at Nellis. I was a mechanic 2A3X3B crew chief flight line mechanic on F-16s particularly block 30 block 32s even though this is a block 50 block 52 aircraft but that's what we got for the game so that's okay and as you can see my tail number is representative of the uh, air, first aircraft I crewed once I got stationed there out of tech school, which is uh, Aircraft 746. WA Weapons Academy and the Falcon insignia on the tail for Falcon AMU, which is the maintenance squadron that took care of these aircraft. So I'm going to go ahead and start up. And get everything up and running. Now the briefing says our QFE for the day is 28.05, but the altimeter will not set that low, so I've set it at 28.15, which is what I remember it is um, from the offline mission. All my knobs and switches are set, positioned where I want them, more or less. 20% coming over the horn. Radio's on. Get myself physically positioned. Alright, power's coming up. We are now on generated power. So let me confirm my position. So that the INS will will align properly. Let me get my canopy closed here. The outside view. This is the part where, as a crew chief during launch and recovery, as the pilot's going through his uh, pre launch checks, I would be doing my thing around the aircraft starting at this side. Once the JFA stores closed and everything was looking good, I would run up and just start inspecting, make sure everything kind of looks good. Uh, as the pilot went through his flight control checks, I would tell him rudder left, rudder right, nose up, nose down, roll left, roll right, that kind of thing. Keep it open, keep it closed, run to the other side, make sure all the hatches are closed, everything's latched, everything looks good, no safety pins left in. Typically, um, all the covers would be off the missiles, but the A9 would have a T-handle that would have to be rotated 90 degrees and then locked back into place to arm the sidewinders. But um, these are A9Xs, which were not in existence when I was in. We had, uh, I'm, I can't be 100% what version was the A9 we had. Uh, I just know we 
our configuration typically was the aim nines on the wingtips, and if we were running AMRAMs, it would be on the uh, number two, and what is that, the number number eight, and number two, number eight pylons. Took me a minute there. We get a lot of stuff as you get older. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get our frequencies typed in. Alright, I can't quite see who, how many people we got on each frequency, but I think it's 8 and 6, so we got a lot of, got a lot of traffic today. I think the asterisk is at COM1. And I think we're looking good. With my seat height just a little bump. That should be that. Well, as we get down this way, one thing to note is where those coverings are right there is where my old maintenance squadron used to be. There's our age yard and right before the, the, the turn. Because those buildings there were Piper Squadron. Yep. And uh, Falcon AMU was the building to the south of that. So it looks like they've got enemy air to air going. So I think what I'll do is I'll get down here to EOR and uh, do a hot load change out and change change over to um, to uh, air to air get these bombs off and go hunt for those helos yeah and everything's geared for there's some EOR over here. That's the EOR shack, as a matter of fact. <laughs> the only thing missing is the is the little gazebo <laughs> that we used to sit around and smoke cigarettes at. So yeah. Radio check two five one. Well, I'm hearing it, but I'm not transmitting. All right, we're going. Alright, we'll we'll play along. We'll do a little air to air with these these guys. Looks like that's all we got going for us is some air to air. Most important thing, master arm on. And we got lots of bogeys. You are. 
not friendly. I'm firing first this time. That was spooking. Gotta get him defensive. He's hit. Splash one. Forget about him. It's this one up here that I want. That's who I've got to be worried about. Who's up here with me? Bam! Splash two. Sam City. Oh, that was inciting. We got two F fives down at range. helicopters. There. I see some contrails. Supposed to be. Shit, where are those MIGs? Player. 
esperamos. I am seriously outnumbered here. Pull up. Pull up. Look at that. Altitude. Altitude. You want me? You gotta come down in here and get me, boys. Altitude. Altitude. I think they shucked that one. Altitude. Altitude. It's Fox Two right there. Two twenty seven. I'll take that. Getting two aim nines right up the pipe. Low altitude as well. Flash three. Whew. Not bad. Not a bad day's work. I think I can go get that last one. Maybe I'm pushing my luck and I should quit while I'm ahead. There's one left. Steer point three. Let's go see what altitude. Where is he at? Okay, let's go for him. What are you? Three. You're in the you're in the threat rings. Ah, he's down. Oh, 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 oh! You want to get low, eh? Or is that you up there? Bad news. Bad news. Hello. They got reinforcements. Altitude. Altitude. Pull up. They got reinforcements. Altitude. Altitude. And I'm in the middle of their Sam City.
Oh, I got greedy. I got greedy. Those 29s really are locking me up today. No, oh, he's firing. And that's it for me. Turn and fight. Time for some terrain masking. Let me get low. Get down in the weeds. Whew. Done this before. I have been on the on the defensive. Yes. Know where I'm at. I had to do this before. They got the speed to run me down, but this is what I'm going for. I'm dragging them back to friendly area. Friendly Sam's will take care of them. Because the way this is working out right now, I am 100% defensive. Alright, missile launched. Done means they probably ran out of missiles probably if I can drag them to Creech I can get Creech to drop some Sam's on them Indian Springs and there they go Indian Springs cover my ass <laughs> there they go Fly, baby, fly. If you can splash at least one of them, then I might be able to turn and fight. Even these odds up a bit. I'm dead. I got no. I got nothing. And there it was. Right into the canopy. Should have let the sand do their job. We got greedy. We got paid the box. It looks like the sand got him. He's going down. I'm dead. Oh, come on. They had to hit it. Oh. That was fun. Right at the moment when I got shot down. So, I'll buy that for a dollar. 
Nice. He's flying the drone. <laughs> well done. <laughs>